Question 3, A Part 1. Define first electron affinity, the EA1. Um, I use this one as example. Enthalpy change when one mole of electron, one mole of electron, is gained by one mole of gases atom. under standard condition so remember it's always one mole of electron gained by one mole of gases atom to form one mole of one negative gases ion one mole of okay this uh, one negative gases ion under standard condition uh, this is the definition for the first electron affinity for part two, the first electron affinity of an atom normally is exo, whereas the second EA is endo. Why? This one is very uh, easy. Uh, first, you need to know uh, the equation. Um, the EA1 will form uh, gases ion which is negative charge then this gases ion will add one more electron to itself so as you can see from here the electrons is negative charge and the gases ion also negative charge negative negative they will repel means there will be a repulsion between them means in order for this electron to get in there means to uh, uh, combine with the gases uh, ion is required energy means we need to uh, give some energy force the electrons to combine with this uh, gases ion that's why the second EA is always endo normally is endo that's the reason uh, energy required to overcome the repulsion between the electrons and this gases ion. Part 3. Describe the general trend in the first EA for the this uh, halogen from the chlorine to bromine to iodine. Explain your answer. So first, you must make the terms clear. So what is the, the, the main uh, properties that involve? We know that it's always gases at them. So therefore, it's not molecules. So it must be the chlorine, bromine, iodine atoms, gases at them. After that, these gases at them, they are going to gain electron from outside this is not the electrons in the outermost shell no this is electrons from outside which need to gain by the atom we call incoming electron so all these halogen these gases atoms they will gain the electrons from outside so first you need to uh, mention the trend general trend so down the group the first ea is less exo uh, so this is a trend that you must explain if um, or you must give before you explain so it become less exo why because the bonding or attractions between the incoming electrons and the halogens become weaker means the energies that release from the this uh, uh, this iodine gases atom with the incoming electron is lesser because the bondings that form between them is weaker uh, so why is weaker because the size so first thing that you must mention is the atomic radii so this may due to the atomic radii increases means down the group the size increases 
because the size increases therefore it has more shielding because the size is controlled by the numbers of uh, electron shells so when size is larger we know that electron shell is more therefore more shielding more shielding means what the attractions of the nucleus towards the incoming electron is weaker uh, that's why it's less exo uh, therefore more shielding by inner electron shell more shielding means attractions between the incoming electrons and the nucleus is weaker uh, therefore it's released lesser energy so less exo uh, that that's how you explain uh, about the trap for part b table 3.1 shows the energy change uh, for this uh, uh, this uh, question uh, uh, in C. So table 3.1 is given. Uh, we need to use uh, these values for the calculations later. Um, uh, so this one we will use uh, one by one. Okay, I'll tell you uh, how and when to use it. Okay, so for this part B, uh, now it's asked to calculate the first EA for iodine. First EA for iodine. Use the relevant data from table 3.1. Uh, so of course it's better to draw the energy cycle or the von Hebel cycle. Then you can uh, know the values uh, or you can get the values easier. Okay, so let's start. How to get this uh, the first EA of iodine? Uh, I recommend you all to start with the elements. Start from the elements and after that, the compound. So win means you need to start with the formation. Zinc and the iodine, so they react and form the compound. So this one is from one mole of zinc iodide. So the formation is negative. 208 uh, they are all from this table right you can get all these values from the table <clears throat> now after that you try to atomize and ionize the zinc so 131 is the atomization of zinc from solid to gaseous atom after it's formed gaseous atom then it need to be ionized uh, I combine the IE 1 and 2 together so this is IE1, this is IE2 for the zinc. So then it's uh, from the zinc ion with two electrons. So the next stage is you need to uh, f let these iodines to form gas, gaseous molecule. Means uh, this uh, iodine solid need to undergo sublimation. So in the table also this one is given. The iodines solid now form gas. Okay, sublimation it needs 62 kilojoule per mole after it's formed gaseous molecule then this i i bond need to break so this one is a bond energies of the iodine so it's a 151 okay after this bond break it will form two moles of gases atom iodine and now the two moles of gases uh, atom iodine will gain the two electrons or two moles of electrons to form the iodide so means this one is the ea of iodine times two because the the gases atom now is two moles of gases atom gains two moles of electron therefore here you must times two two times of ea one for iodine after that it will form both gases ion zinc gases ion and the iodide gases ion so these two will combine and form the solid so this is the latest energy so what you need to do is once you construct this uh, energy cycle you need to sum it up so sum up all this enthalpy this one all the way to here so sum up all this Okay, so it's equal to this one. So you get this. What you need to get is the 
first EA of iodine. So uh, rearrange, calculate, you get negative 2, 9, 3. So part C, the last one. Predict how the latest energy of the cadmium iodide differ from the latest energy of zinc iodide. Uh, so please uh, check the periodic table and you will know that they are actually uh, the different period means uh, this one the zinc is uh, uh, is uh, much smaller than cadmium right so the cadmium is right below zinc okay in the d block so we know that the zinc ion is going to be smaller than the cadmium ion so zinc ion is smaller therefore it's going to have a stronger attractions with the iodide so it's going to release more energy so we know that the cadmium iodide is less negative than the the zinc iodide this is for sure because the attractions of the zinc iodide is stronger release more energy so you just put a tick here so you just explain why uh, because cadmium is larger than zinc so when it's larger, we know that uh, the charge density of the cadmium is lower. Cadmium ion is lower. So what is charge density? Because we know that uh, the cadmium is right below the zinc. So the charge that they will form is same, means uh, two positive. We know that the cadmium is larger, means uh, with the same charge and now it's a larger volume. So the density means the charge density is lower and lower charge density is going to have a weaker attractions with the anion in this case is the iodide so therefore the cadmium iodide will be less exo than the this uh, zinc iodide right so you at the end you just say because therefore uh, attractions between the cadmium and the iodide is weaker uh, so it's released less energy right so uh, that's all thank you